I suppose with this, the battle for Asia Minor continues. Oh, let's do this. Yep, they still want to go at it. Despite us having the tactical advantage, but... This guy does bring, you know... 200 some heavy cavalry, so... He may make it be the game changer here for these guys. Because I only have one long range unit, really. We do have some barbarian mercenaries with spears, but... How much that's really going to change things, I'm not so sure. At least we can deploy the dogs to deal with these, um... Eastern infantry, so we're going to have to hold them back while we deal with these, um... Chariots and stuff we can. Mostly, we're probably going to want to just throw rocks at the chariots. At least that's why I assume. Though... Hopefully we can deal with those, you know, before, uh... Backup can really get in there. After that, we might have a little tiny maintenance work I want to work on. Men, we face adversity. A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day, we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men! The repulsive, loutish rulers of Pontus have sent their army to oppose us. Look at them all. They are very, very dangerous. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs, so unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. This day we'll see much cavalry fighting. Both sides are packed with horsemen. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Now, you know I have a reputation for cunning in battle. I do not intend this to be a fair fight. I am going to fall upon them without warning. I will strike at their weakest points. This won't be a battle. It'll be a kick up the toe. We can only hope so. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! Ah, yes. We must kill them all, right? Okay. Group them. These guys are basically all going to get launched, launched at the same target, and we all know it. Though in all honesty, that's probably going to be the unit that moves forward the most. Well... The fairy man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Uh, the sad part is I need to... Get this going. Ugh, I can't let them bring a bunch of units in here freely. Big annoyance here is the freaking chariots, though. Uh, these chariots are gonna mess us up good. Okay. Okay, fall back. I want to get away from these fucking chariots. Okay. Okay. These guys too bad, but uh, those freaking chariots, man! Fall back. Oh, there goes that guy's. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. I wish I could say it was.
What on earth is that? Okay. Uh, freaking chariots. They always mess me up, man. <sighs> Go after these guys. Let the chariots run. Uh, our line's completely messed up now. Ugh. Yeah, I can only hope that works out. Okay. The army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Let them run. I ain't got time for that. Units, move up. Okay. Hurry up there, will you? Okay. They're getting messed up by freaking chariots. Ignore the chariots, get back here. Gosh darn it. Ugh. I can only hope this does some good. I mean, with the dogs surrounding those guys, hopefully they'll break. Like, I need this general dead. Like, if nothing else, if I can take out this general, I'll be happy. Come on. Take him. Yes, the hands of dogs, no less. Get him. Take him out. Take him down. Come on. Drop him. Oh, man. Get these guys. They're falling back. I need to get them before they um, all escape. Hurry up, haul butt. I'm not going to take out what's left that unit before they go away, and the dogs are going to follow, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about that at this point. Oh, well, the dogs are chasing after these guys. They gave up on them. Cool. Most of the dogs are pursuing um, the Eastern Infantry. They're trying to fall back fast, but not fast enough. Well, if I can wipe out, you know, a good chunk of those guys, I'll be happy, though. It's not going to be as big of a win as I'd like, because those horses are definitely getting away. And that unit, you know, is also beyond my capacity to touch at this point. By the time I get to these guys, they're going to be gone. Keep going after them. You won't make it, but put pressure on them anyway, I guess. This is a heroic victory. <sighs> Roman arms. This does remove at least some of the heavy cavalry from the picture for the next battle, but that's about all. Yeah. We took about as much as we we got there. I mean about half their army still stands. Those chariots are what really screwed us, though, man. Ugh, chariots, man. I hate those damn things. Yeah, war's not so much a matter of weapons as of money. I suppose you got a point there, but it sucks. Victory! Imperator! A 
It's darn right we're C. The settlement. Well, I guess we'll offering two of these to try and open up the wall. But yeah, they got one unit of spearmen and one unit of freaking heavy um, cavalry. And that's going to have to hold us off. And that's like the bulk of what's left of their forces in their cities besides one unit up here. Oh, I'm sorry, they got some heavy cavalry here and they're now faction leader. I think he might be their last family member. It has to suck to be them right now. They're like, we don't have any good options. But yeah, I want to... Uh... Alright, move that army. Darn. And this army is just mostly uh, peasants to keep people under control here. I could train more. No, well, why not? It's a cheap unit to recruit, after all. Um, get another unit there going. And there. And I'm going to need another boat or two to put these guys on. Albeit boats are rather expensive, so I suspect, you know, financially, you know, yeah, we're going to bleed a little because we spent so much money on mercenaries, but it's fine. Like... Oh yeah, we still gotta retrain some units here. I wanna retrain these guys before we send this guy off to the wars. I wish they actually kept a force around here that actually mattered. I feel so stupid keeping around so many men over here. Um, at least this place looks is looking up, I guess. Yeah, please assassinate that guy. Yeah, I suspect it would be. Well, they got Hannibal here, huh? Well, I just don't know if I want to deal with this. Like, I can see just their port just fine. I don't know if I want to commit myself to, you know, actually sending an army to conquer the place. Sort of like, you know, Namidia over here. Like, they got one last territory, and they got the entire garrison in here. Like, there's a whole army stack, you know, just trying to defend this one city. Like, I don't know if I even want to deal with it. Like, even if I could deal with it, do I really want to commit that much forces to it? Sir. I shall speak with them at once. Map information for map information? Ah. Uh, they don't have enough money to pay me for my map information. Cool. So, is this owned by Pontus or what? Well, I guess this territory is still attached to this one, yeah. Makes sense. But I can't even upgrade over here. There's, I'm waiting for our people. I could train some citizens over here, I guess, and send them over. Like, we'll train population and try and get over the border break it okay you guys do that everything else is sort of fun right now this army needs to go on the boat Sir. oh we can buy more units over here well none of them are mercenary units I want to the army uh, we need more infantry for this army And, you know, I wouldn't mind one more unit. For that, at least. Um, it's alright. Okay. How many we got? Okay, we got a solid army stack right now. For at least what we're doing. I want to send these guys down here to probably take this. Because they're not really protecting any of these cities in Central Egypt, so I want to go after them. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Carthage right now. I want to take basically the center of Egypt and split in two. Oh, I know I'll draw their ire for that one. Because they got full stacks here. They got probably full stack. Well, that's not full stack, but a decent one. 
small stack there, so they got a weird spread of their forces right now. Like, I don't get why this is almost unguarded. They got a large city here with some nice walls, but there's only one unit in it. On the other hand, this border town over here has got a lot more going for it, but they also have to take the fact, you know, this is on water, man. I can easily land troops, like, here and boom, march them right up. I guess they can send some forces out from here if they had them, but, you know, there's no one there. Same with this island. It's got purple dye. I love purple dye. It's very valuable, but there's not many people defending it. I suppose you can argue I got the same problem, too, because I got, you know, quite a few peasants down here and here, but, you know, I haven't seen too many sea invasions from, you know, anybody. Can I, be of I guess I can talk to these guys, see if we can, um, get to a ceasefire, maybe. So we must accept your offer. Cool. I guess we agreed to uh, stop fighting at least, probably because they can't afford the army they have, so they can't maintain that. Of course, this town's just a freaking trap, man. <sighs> Assassin ready. Can't do it, sir. He shall yeah, not good enough. Life will end. Take a shot, this guy. Gotta prove our skills first. There we go. Yes, the murderer. Assassin ready. He... Yeah, I need a spy to know who's in there. His life will end. Problem is, that's not a unit that's really gonna benefit from that. He... And without a spy, I have no chance of knowing what buildings I can go after. One unit, huh? Well, I guess the Julia are starting to run out of steam over here. And why are there so many people gathering over here? And is that seriously the only force they're sending? That might be one of the most worthless armies I've ever seen. Ugh. I think I'm ready at this point. More about as ready as I can be. Let's just flip that hourglass and see what happens. Oh yeah, it's gonna move this army. Okay, let's put you guys in port. Should have done that, I guess, to heal them up. Okay. You guys want me to take their capital. Admittedly, you know, they got most of their forces outside of it right now because they decided to hit back at Thrace, but I'm guessing they're gonna turn around and go back in there. I'm not even interested in going after the capital. A bit more of a loss than I was expecting. However, Tanya surpassed me in riches now. Okay, coming of age. So, who on earth are you? Rather lazy, great. Fluent speaker, so that cancels out rather lazy somewhat. Frugal. Great. Well, obsessional trainer. He's got some positive traits going for him. Got some new family members coming up. Um, Fulvia. I'm guessing that someone's wife passed away. That does suck. Okay, is there anything Greek left? Yeah, we got that. Um, I need to put up a non Greek wall. Well, I guess that's not really hurting um, culture right now, so it's fine. Okay. Um, I don't know if I really want that. Forum. Doesn't really help me out much, unfortunately. Temple of Mercury, same thing. It doesn't increase corruption by a bit. Darn. Yeah. We got a massive army here, and it's really not paying off. The problem is it's not really helping with um, controlling the city very well, or as, as well as it should. I need to... I can't even repair the Velotes. Oh yeah, I gotta build 
a bloody practice range to do that. Okay, Thessalonica. We could build a forum. Or we could build a highway. Highway seems better. Plus, you know, speeds up troop deployment, so I like it. Carthage, um... What about the Temple of Mercury? Eh, two turns, plus another little bit of my money. I'm fine with it. Though I probably can say, you know, replacing stuff with, uh, good Roman buildings. Where I can. Yeah, that's not worth it. Okay, so that's... Basically everything over here is still Carthaginian, we need to replace it. That'll take too long. Um, I don't know what I want. I guess I'll take that. We'll continue to work towards, you know, a, a superior god, right? And Nepote, we'll drop a barracks. That will, like, you know, do all we can for the, um, bloody penalty. At least the unrest has gone down. Um, I forgot in Sardis to get rid of their inferior deity. Boom. We want a good, you know, broody eye deity here. Yeah, that's not really going to help them out much. Um, I don't really want to increase the population growth too much, though. So I guess we'll go with... Um... Well, Mars would be... Alright, I guess in the end we'll go with the awesome temple of this, because I think it's going to be better. Really don't care about the recruitment report. Yeah, the following are not worth each other. Parthia and Armenia? That's fine. Gaul and the House of Julia have reached a ceasefire, have they? Well, I don't know why they're still fighting anyway. They don't even share a border with each other. Gaul is currently being attacked basically by, um... The Scipiones. They're trying to take basically all their territory and move themselves into the Iberian Peninsula. To various degrees of success, I'm sure. Ugh. They need to hurry up, man. They're, like, way behind everyone else. Darn, I spent too much time on maintenance. But screw it, you know, it's a small force here. Of what, like, three units at most, assuming they built more? Nope. They didn't, okay. Fight battle on map. Wait, before I do that... You can get in that unit, so boom. Yep, like that. Okay, now I'll begin the assault. I lost some dog trainers, huh? It's terrible. Wait, I still got one more small unit of freaking horses. I don't even know if I want that unit to exist. I guess we'll just leave it in the background of this fight. Ugh. <sighs> I know, I know. I keep like, let's start! And like, oh wait, I got another small unit I need to deal with. You're right, our bad plans, they can't be altered. The problem is, you know, we're being tasked with a bad plan. Because taking the Dacian capital is going to cost way more than it's worth. Men, we face adversity! A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people! We will be honored as men! Today we face the men of Pontus. They are worthy enemies, but enemies nonetheless. That army comprises a full quarter of our foes' warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women? Beardless youths and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today! They cower behind their walls and pray for help. Why do they stand? They must have barely a fraction of our men. We should brush them aside easily and claim victory. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. Now. You know I have a reputation for cunning in battle. 
I do not intend this to be a fair fight. I am going to fall upon them without warning. I will strike at their weakest points. This won't be a battle. It'll be a kick up the toga. Today, we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! Jeez. Well, now. Well, I suppose that works. I suppose I could technically put forces on the other side and try and come from both fronts, but I don't think it's going to be particularly viable. After all, who all would I put over there? Not much. Okay. I guess we'll, uh, put the dogs over here, maybe? But there's no roads that lead straight up there from here. Like, if we go through the front gate, like, I can send the dogs in, you know, boom, right around here or so, and they'll just run right in there. I guess I can put some of the horses over there. And another unit of these guys. And I guess these guys, since I don't really plan using them. Yes, like so. Yep, like that. Okay, we will group you guys together. Boom. Basically just ignore them. Oh, I guess we'll put this unit over here too. Just to sit back there and do nothing. Okay, this unit can go with these guys. And I guess I'll basically do it for formation. What the... Let's like say they got them near the wall somewhere. Trying to lure me in. Okay, where's the other ram at? Okay. Um, let's see, move you guys closer. Getting close. If I can, I'd like to shoot at these guys, but I doubt I'll be able to fire at them. Okay. Let's move you guys closer. Ah, oh, so that's not how I want to be facing. Something like that's a bit better off. I assume they're teasing me somewhere. Yeah. All the way in the back where I can't hit them now. I sorry, I just wish they'd stuck that cavalry unit up there. Okay. Now they must batter our way through. I know they must batter our way through. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Okay, we're gonna have to repair this wall because we're breaking it, but whatever. Um, they can I come close enough to actually do anything about? Yeah. That wall is coming down soon. Oh, the enemy gate is down. Doors out. Ram has done its work. And that's Show down. No mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Run them in. Okay. Here come the dogs, dude. 
Lots and lots of dogs. All the dogs in the world, I swear. Oh, I got shot by that. Well, whatever. They're forming up a tight grouping and they're running into the freaking place. I might have lost a couple unnecessarily, but you know, screw it. I'm okay with it. Okay. Let go of the dogs, man. Well. I want these guys to hurry up. I mean, these dogs are only going to do so much, but, you know, at least as they're weakening them. Could send them over here, I guess. Um, launch the battle cry when they get close. Yeah, war cry, man. Come on, do it. Come on. Stop cheering down there and get up here. Come on, dogs. Okay, we got some trying to get out. Well, the heavy cavalry is breaking. It's all well and good. Okay. Come on, dogs. Do it. Just a little bit more. I'm surprised these guys haven't broken yet, to be honest. I guess they're not surrounded enough, so they feel confident. Despite, you know, getting butchered by dogs. Okay. They're still fresh, but, you know. Yep. Yeah, unit experience, but... How much longer can they take it? Yep. Captain's dead. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. No, no, you guys wait. You guys move up. After all, these guys, you know, the dogs are gonna try and finish off the freaking heavy cavalry. Okay, that just leaves the spearmen. Okay. This one ain't about as well as can be expected, I suppose. I just want to hurry up. After all, I want you guys to lend aid to the dogs, man. Okay. Getting through the dogs. I suppose they are. Okay. Well, dogs did a good job. Okay. Come on. Come on, come get me, dudes. Get him! Gosh darn it! The enemy show their true virtue. They are well, soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Let's just end it. There's not much more to gain here. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this <laughs> day is clearly our victory. Yeah, I suppose it is. Well, we got back some of the Thracians, a third of them.
Four dog losses are somewhat annoying. But I'm hoping they have enough stuff we can at least fix those. We're gonna have to get rid of their false god, though. Well, I guess I'll just occupy since, you know, it's a small town. There's no point in killing everything. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Besides, get rid of that and build a shrine to Juno, I guess. <sighs> I might take down this stuff, too. Yeah, I might as well, since it's gonna cause problems. Because it does incur a cultural penalty for having it. Okay. Didn't get any more brutal, at least. Though that unit of horses feels a bit wasted. Well, I don't know what these guys are gonna do. Like, I think that might be their last territory, unless they hold a one here. I'm pretty sure this is Egypt's. Unless this is all part of this one territory. I don't know where its borders are at perfectly. Um, I want you to drop a watchtower for me. Okay, so we got an Egyptian army right over there, huh? That's fair. I'm trying to invade their territory. I, I can't blame them for trying to invade mine. Unless they're trying to go to finish off these guys. I could believe either or, you know, like... I'm moving closer and closer and, and a clear threat. I mean, come on. You can just look at the um, ranking scroll, you know. I'm number one. Of course, Egypt's kind of topped off at the moment, but militarized, yeah, they're really topped off. The Julii I surpassed them, and I way surpassed them in men. My production ranking though, is dropping off because I'm spending too much money. Hopefully, you no, know, I don't waste money this turn. Oh, we're, we're looking to turn in a good profit this time. If I don't spend a bunch of money on um armies, which, which is fine. We're probably spending on attacking right now. Ready to sail. Oh uh, yes, this army. Keep it moving. You guys, um, can you retrain these boats? Thank you. I can't merge those because that's an obvious commander. Okay. We will bring you down. Okay. Problem is, it's desert. It's gonna suck to walk through that, so. Yes, Captain. Let's see. Prepare to engage. Well, it's a neutral faction right now. There's no point in attacking it. That's fine. They'll either move off, or I'll get to attack them next turn, or they'll try and fight me back, because they might realize, you know, what I'm trying to do with a massive army going over here. Of course, this place has still got the plague, darn it. Fleet ready. Okay. Ready to sail. And I guess we need to finish moving out this army. General. Because these guys got healed. Sir. 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 Orders. Okay, we'll take these mercenaries we Sir. bought. Trentium, you can continue working towards them um, resupplying us with more troops. Or at the very least, providing more troops for your own defense in case, you know, civil war -y sort of thing happens. I guess I'll dock you guys over here for now. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I desperately want to be able to do something else with this army. But it takes this many men to keep the populace, keep this much stuff going for control. Like, I need to move these guys out slowly and replace them with peasants. Gotta get this squall under control. It sucks. 
Yeah, this episode's gone long enough, though. We'll try and finish up, you know, this turn next time. Can't imagine there's too much more to do, though. I still don't like what the sense got me trying to do, because I know I can't bribe this guy. And Faction Air, I can't bribe him either. The fact he got the family member... Oh, he's got Oz in his name. No way he's going to take a bribe. And this over here does kind of suck. Um... Yes. For map information. Ah. Uh, so he's just limits to die. So let's part respectfully. Talk to this guy's like, oh, our alliance is over, is it? That's fine. I was kind of preparing for that. I'm a bit surprised you would suggest it, though. Okay. This army is going to be going over to Thrace. Or we're going to send an army by land. We got enough men to do it. Sadly, I don't have a family where I can really put in charge of that, but it's fun. Yep, we'll move those guys out of Athens and continue training up more men, obviously. Okay, construction cost. Why not? I don't know if the dogs can reach me. No, they won't. Okay. The dogs help discourage the enemies, I suppose, but I don't want to send those over there. Huh, <laughs> I can't reach from there. It's fine. Send you guys over there together. I suppose that's gonna have to suffice. I don't exactly have a lot of spare family members floating around in um this region right now. Well, I guess we can see how well this place does without him. Orders. Um Well, all or nothing, but I don't see him he's particularly needed. Yeah, he adds an extra 15%, but it's not a big deal. We'll just recruit more men. I guess we could put down a town watch. Peasants get enough training to defend their homes, keep whoring the streets. More insistent militia, interested in keeping the peace. Possibly they might have some firefighting duties. Yeah, I know they don't have a lot to do, but I fear that's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose this would be better for uh, the town guard anyway. Orders. But now this way we can actually buy some more units too. Uh, the Illyrian mercenaries might be worth it. Everything else is kind of relative. Till next time then. See ya.